morning, Captain. Good morning, Captain. You there. You're aware that you're to salute your commanding officer? Oh, I'm aware. That's why I didn't salute. Time for this captain to walk the plank. Oh. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Food Theory, the show that stays crunchy even in milk. Theorists, if you're anything like me, there's nothing worse than soggy breakfast cereal. Well, maybe cereal that tastes like green onions. Or cereal that tastes like cardboard. I, I guess finding out your favorite cereal mascot is inbred is pretty bad too. You know what? Maybe there are a few things worse than soggy cereal, but soggy cereal is still definitely up there on the list. And that is precisely why in 1963, the Quaker Oats Company launched Cap'n Crunch, a cereal that supposedly stays crunchy in milk longer than other cereals. Cereals. It's Captain Crunch, the cereal named after me, Captain Crunch. Delightfully sweet, sugar sweet, and fun to munch because it keeps its crunch. So crisp, it never uncrunches, not even in milk. Now, anybody for a bowl of Captain Crunch? What the captain is neglecting to tell everyone is that not only does it stay crunchy in milk, it also feels like glass shards on the roof of your mouth. Now, Captain Crunch cereal isn't sold worldwide, so in case you live far across the seven seas and are unfamiliar with the titular character, here's the backstory on old Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch. Yes, that is his real canonical name. Since his earliest television commercials, the jolly silver-haired captain has sailed the soggy seas on a ship, the SS Guppy, with his crew of misfit children and his first mate, Sea Dog. His quest? to defend the secret of their cereal signature crunch from the likes of his arch nemesis, the barefooted pirate Jean Lafoot. And for decades, it was nothing but smooth sailing for the captain. His cereal was a hit, and, uh, well, no one was accusing him of violating United States federal law. But one of those things would have to change in 2013, and you guessed it, it was the federal law thing. You see, Captain Crunch is a lot of things. By the end of today's episode, you'll understand that he's a con artist, he's a liar, he's a thief, and he may even be a murderer. But one thing he is most certainly not is a captain. So hold your nose and close your eyes, theorists, because today we're diving into why Captain Crunch is not only headed to jail, but is quite possibly the most dishonorable food mascot of all time. To understand today's theory, you first have to understand the Stolen Valor Act of 2013. There was one from 2005 as well, signed into law by then-President George W. Bush, but the one we're talking about today is one signed under the Obama administration. Now, I imagine most countries simply call it impersonating a military officer, or something along those lines, but here in the States, stolen valor is the cool way we refer to the act of fraudulently claiming to have served in the military, or embellishing one's rank within the military, or lying about having received certain valor awards. And doing any of those things is literally a federal crime. A crime that a certain serial mascot running around falsely calling himself a captain may just be violating. Now, we have to keep in mind that Horatio Crime Crunch here would only be guilty of stolen valor if he was wearing a U.S. military uniform. If he were lying about his rank as a member of, say, the Queen's Guard, he wouldn't be in violation of the U.S.'s Stolen Valor Act. So can we confirm that Captain Crunch is indeed wearing a U.S. naval uniform? Indeed we can. Now, it may not resemble contemporary U.S. naval uniforms too closely, but if we turn the clock back to the 1800s, it is clear that all the distinctive components of Captain Crunch's uniform were in fact once utilized in real life by by the U.S. Navy. The epaulets on the shoulders, the bicorn hat, the white trousers with a high-collared blue coat, even the tails, which the captain wore in some of the earliest commercials. So let's first take a closer look at Captain Crunch's uniform. That is not the uniform of a captain in the U.S. Navy, and we can tell based on the stripes on his sleeve. Over the course of the decades-long television commercial campaign, we've seen captain with one, two, and three stripes on his sleeves, indicating the ranks of ensign, and lieutenant, and commander respectively, but at no point has his sleeve ever displayed four stripes, which would denote the rank of a captain. At best, it would seem that he's risen to the rank of a U.S. Navy commander, a rank that is one level lower than captain. And our source for that is the U.S. Navy itself. That's right, the Navy has actually waited to confirm this. As Lieutenant Commander Sarah Flaherty, a U.S. Navy spokesperson, stated in 
13, quote, Captain Crunch appears to be wearing the rank of a U.S. Navy commander. So why then does he refer to himself as a captain? Well, after years of being badgered with these types of questions, the captain finally defended himself on Twitter, which honestly was his first mistake. D no, not on Twitter, Captain. Defensive Twitter threads will never work because people like me will tear apart everything you say and hold it against you. Anyway, he responded with the following, quote, a naval officer of any rank will have the title captain because whoever is in charge of a ship assumes the title of captain. Which, gotta say, is a very valid point, Horatio. Except for the fact that it doesn't apply to you because you are not a naval officer. That's right, Lieutenant Commander Sarah Flaherty once again weighed in on behalf of the U.S. Navy, saying, quote, our personnel show, except for the fact that it doesn't apply to you because you are not a naval officer. That's right, Lieutenant Commander Sarah Flaherty once again weighed in on behalf of the U.S. Navy, saying, quote, our personnel records do not show a Captain Crunch who currently serves or has ever served in the Navy. Oh, snap, crackle, pop! You just got dunked on by the U.S. Navy! Let's drop anchor for a moment to unpack all this. Captain Crunch isn't merely exaggerating his military rank, he is straight up lying about his military service altogether. This would definitely explain why his uniform is pieced together like he's some kind of historical cosplayer. But if you don't believe the military records, then turn your attention to his ship, the SS Guppy. See, SS is a prefix used for civilian ships, often indicating that the ship is a screw steamer, or in more layman's terms, a steamship. Were he captaining a US naval ship, that ship would almost certainly have a non-civilian prefix. It would be called, say, the The USS Guppy, meaning the United States ship Guppy, or perhaps even the USF Guppy, where it'd be classified as a United States frigate. So we know Horatio has never been enlisted in the US Navy. We know that he's dressed in a legit US Naval uniform, and we know his intent is to be perceived as a US Naval officer, all to sell you more glass shards that you can drown in milk for your morning cereal, part of a balanced breakfast. As of the day this video was made, Captain Crunch cereal is still cashing in on Horatio's fraudulent military persona to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars per year in